As Tianzhou One blasted off to space on Thursday night, a top official of China's manned space engineering office announced that the country's space program has stepped into a new era. In China's three-stage manned space program, this launch marks the end of the second stage of the launch mission and officially starts the next stage of constructing our space station. Thursday's successful launch was witnessed by some members of the international community. On the invitation of China's foreign ministry, Ms. Di Pipo, the director of the United Nations Office of Outer Space Affairs and ambassadors of Indonesia, the Philippines, Pakistan, Malaysia, South Africa, and Kazakhstan, and watched the liftoff. It's really an exciting and important step in the realization of China's uh, great endeavor, so the Chinese space station. And it is indeed an admirable effort in scientific and technological capability. Step by step, China is moving forward. So this is something remarkable for the whole world. The successful launch of Tianzhou-1 marks a milestone for China's manned space mission. After witnessing the rocket blasting off from the Wenchang Space Launch Center, foreign envoys told me that they are looking forward to more cooperation with China on the field of space exploration. Zhang Yuling said China's future space station will be open to the international community without conditions. We're equally open to the whole world, including the leading space powers and developing countries. There is no limit. We welcome any country that has the need of conducting space experiments. Zhang said China will remain committed to the peaceful use of outer space and provide more opportunities for developing countries to take part in China's space achievements. Ge Yunfei, CGTN, Wenchang Space Launch Center.